It's one of the most anticipated events all throughout the four communities. The West Bloomfield Fire Department open house took place this past weekend, inviting citizens and their families inside to meet the firefighters, check out some cool fire equipment, and to learn about some crucial information to keep you and your loved ones safe. So this is boy, probably the 26th uh, fire open house that I've been a part of here in my time at the West Bloomfield Fire Department. And it, it's an opportunity to underscore that fire is everyone's fight. And it brings the community and some of our community partners together to really talk about fire, fire safety, early detection, and what we do when there's a fire within the home uh, so that everybody gets out and stays out. And how great is it to see this turnout and to see all, all these people from the community to come out and support the fire department today? We love our, the turnout that comes in the kids and the adults uh, that come back year after year after year and uh, are part of the annual fire open house. We have a piece of all the puzzles here. The police has a piece and uh, it's a nice way to showcase, uh, you know, they have a booth over there and, you know, we're all a team in public safety. And we try to gear it towards kids, some of the fun activities, the water squirt, uh, the, some of the older uh, the adults like the, uh, the car cutting demonstrations. So we try to have a piece for everybody and everyone walks away with a, a little bit of education and has some fun. So what's it been like to be a part of this incredible event today? It's amazing to be a part of it. I, uh, I encourage all of our new hires to also be a part of this. It's a great way to uh, be engaged in uh, public relations. We are like a family here, a brotherhood and sisterhood, and we, uh, we want people to see what goes on day to day with us, and it's a good way to, to really get involved in the community. These are great memories. We have a lot of photos of the event. The kids love sitting in the fire trucks and ambulances and doing all of the static displays. How to teach my kids fire prevention, fire safety, and what to do in the event that we have any type of dangerous situation in our house. How important are events like these to the community, would you say? Well, they're really important, and I would say now more than ever because uh, the people applying for uh, service jobs like firefighting and police has been declining over the years so it's great to have these events to you know to get the little kids kind of get that hey i want to be a fireman one day type of thing think in their inner heads and the same thing all the other departments are doing the same thing we're doing everyone's having a hard time hiring so we need to get more people excited about uh you know joining service jobs and taking care of people well we hope that they take away that again fire is everyone's fight and when we have the message about when you hear the beeping sound of a smoke alarm or how to call 911 that they this quick response is really what's going to make an impact in saving lives and saving property when fire does strike within the community served by the West Bloomfield Fire Department. There are smiles everywhere you look here at the open house and it's also great to know that it's going to help inspire the next generation of firefighters to help protect the four communities. A big thank you to the West Bloomfield Fire Department for helping to put this together and an even bigger thank you for everything they do for West Bloomfield and beyond. For Civic Center TV, I'm Jake Schaff.